we'll move on to the third eye chakra. This is a good one. I think that a lot of us are really interested in the third eye chakra, especially those of us on a metaphysical path, because, you know, we're wanting to awaken our psychic abilities, our psychic connections, our intuition, all of that stuff. So, of course, the third eye is located right here in the center of the forehead. It's your center of psychic intuitive ability, but it's also um, the center of your mental body, um, your intellect, your reason, all of that good stuff. So the gland that's connected here is the pituitary gland, which is your master gland. Um, it also regulates the body, but it has a, a, a connection to your psychic abilities as well. And the why color would that not be the pineal gland instead of the pituitary? Uh, oh, the why uh, I my understanding is that the pineal gland is uh, also is connected more to the crown chakra. But I have seen um, some diagrams that say that that have the pineal also connected to the third eye. So I guess it's whichever diagram you're looking at, but okay. I associate both the pineal and the pituitary gland as having some kind of role in your psychic and intuitive ability. Is okay, that your I'm sorry to interrupt there. Oh, no, no, no. That's good for clarity because I've seen, you know, you read different sources and they have a little bit of a different take on it. But um, yeah, so I'm saying in, in my experience, I believe the pituitary gland can be worked with through the third eye chakra and the color rays are purple and indigo so um, if your third eye is blocked um, you might feel like you're really existing in 3d and you're not as connected to your intuition or your psychic ability uh, it could express as a lack of ability to concentrate uh, or here's how here's what happens to me a lot of times i feel like my third eye might be an overdrive and sometimes when that's happening you might start overthinking everything like there's like too much mental activity at the expense of feeling things out like you're just really in your brain and your logic and your reason um, and you can get stuck in mental loops where you're having the same thoughts over and over and that sort of thing um, physically it could express as headaches especially i get that when i'm thinking way too much um, nightmares hallucinations or even learning difficulties or neurological issues basically so Okay, it's really hard to just talk about two stones for the third eye because there's so many good third eye stones, but I'm going to try to just narrow it down to two. Um, the first one that I really wanted to share with you guys is Charoite. I love it so much that I'm wearing this gigantic necklace of it. <laughs> it's like as big as my face. Um, How do you beautiful. spell that? Well, I hate to give you spelling bees all day. <laughs> all right. It's a C H. A R O I T E. Char White. Okay. I think this is a really important one uh, when we're going through big times of transformation um, because it can help to balance multiple levels of our being. And they're beautiful, right? So here's another piece. They've got these beautiful kind of undulating shades of purple and violet, but they've also got some black manganese. Uh, dendritic pieces and a little bit of white, a little bit of gray. Some of them have a touch of gold in there. They're beautiful. So we love this because it's got that strong purple ray. The purple ray is what connects to the higher chakras and the higher dimensions um, and bringing in more light for spiritual and psychic awakening. Uh, but the black dendritic inclusions give it a grounding and balancing effect on the physical, mental, and emotional bodies. So this has the effect of helping you to access your soul's energy, um, the wisdom, the love from your soul, and even your divine blueprint, and then to ground that into your conscious awareness, into your body, and into your reality. So we like that because it reaches the highest spectrums of light, and it grounds it so that you can use it here. Okay, so this is the stone to grab when the energies are going crazy on the planet. So I know sometimes I wake up and I check the Schumann resonance on the N5D page and it's off the charts and you can feel it, or maybe it's the two, 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 um, <laughs> wave coming in, or maybe we've got an equinox or we've got an influx of energy, right? When that happens, you want to work with Charoite because Charoite helps you to adjust to an influx of higher frequencies hitting the planet. It assists your body to safely process and ground that energy. Um, so it actually prevents you from getting overloaded or overwhelmed with too many frequencies that are hitting the planet. Um, because when all these energies are coming in, if they're not properly processed by your body, 
um, you start getting those ascension symptoms uh, that can be very uncomfortable, um, like the headaches that go on forever, um, not being able to sleep at night, feeling dizzy, feeling, uh, oh, I love this one, when you're just so tired you can't even move, like that's a really fun one. So if you are feeling ascension symptoms, you want to grab some chara white because it's going to help your body to be able to process what's coming in and it can alleviate the ascension symptoms. So I'll get back to the third eye though. Um, on a mental body level, you want to work with stone because it sharpens your mind, it increases your discernment and your analytical abilities. And this is really good, especially in the current climate when we've got so much information coming from everywhere and it's hard to tell what's true and what's not. This helps you to kind of reason through things. Now, spiritually, charoite's going to enhance your intuitive and psychic ability, all of your clear senses. And if you're a healer, it's going to fine tune your ability to channel energy or to do your healing modalities. And for those of us who are trying to figure out our highest spiritual path or what your mission is, why you're here, it's going to help you to become more aware of your higher purpose. Um, and that it increases the flow of synchronicities to get you into alignment with what you're really here to do. It just moves you into this higher energetic flow. So we love that. Um, we also love that this is a powerful healing stone that can strengthen many different systems of the body. It's even known to transform illness into wellness. And part of how it works is it can bring up what the root cause is of why you're experiencing something. And at the same time, it connects to the violet flame of transmutation. It brings that purple fire energy to transmute and clear any blockages that you're having. So again, this is a versatile stone that you could use over any chakra for clearing and for healing. And for those reasons, I think everybody needs charoite. And then finally, okay, I had a hard time deciding what to talk about, but I had to go with Moldavite, guys. Hey. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. So there's a really nice piece of Moldavite. This is like a grade A++ Moldavite. So it's really translucent. It's got a lot of interesting texture going on. It looks like a little leaf to me, but this is my favorite Moldavite. So we've got, what we have here is a glassy green tektite. It is a gemstone that is born of the stars. It's a perfect one for star seeds because it has that galactic extraterrestrial energy fused with earth material. Um, so this one, it formed as the result of a meteorite crash that happened in Czechoslovakia 14.8 million years ago. As such, just kind of like the Libyan gold tektite, it has a vibration that's super high and it can be easily easy for people to feel it as heat or vibration or tingling. It can be a little bit intense for some people. Um, some crystal experts, uh, they suggest that you work with it in small doses until you get used to its energy. Uh, maybe 30 minutes at a time and work your way up. Now, for some people, though, they feel right at home with this stone. It doesn't bother them in the least. And some people have a theory that it's because they're star seeds, right? And so this uh, vibration of the stone might feel just like their home planet or something. Now, the way I see Moldavite, it's an accelerator. It's going to put everything into overdrive. It is an acceleration, accelerator of energy. It's an accelerator of evolution. And I think those of us who are light workers or star seeds or here on a spiritual mission, this one is going to help you to do your mission um, and to help uh, upshift the consciousness of this planet. So it's a quantum leap stone, guys. This is going to take you from here to here, like really quickly. Um, and here's how it works. It starts to bring in this really high vibra vibrating frequency into your field. It's going to activate and clear all of the chakras simultaneously. Um, and then it's gonna raise your light quotient really high. So then you're gonna be vibrating up here. Now, the thing is when you're vibrating up here, there might be some situations in your life that are still vibrating down here. And those things might start to shift out of your life. So that's a warning that people give with Moldavite because all of a sudden, oops, that relationship's no longer in alignment with my new vibration, it's gone. Oops, that job, it's not what I'm really supposed to be doing, so I just got fired. Oops. So it can tr turn things, uh, make things kind of go topsy-turvy for a second there, but if you can make it through that purging phase, the next thing that happened can be really beautiful because uh, it'll initiate a windfall of synchronicities, of new opportunities, new connections, 
that are aligned with your highest um, good and your highest mission. So it's going to start bringing you all the resources that you need to rock your mission. Uh, very beautiful process. Now, this is another one that's going to very quickly activate your higher chakras, your psychic senses, your spiritual gifts, especially if it's anything that you need for your mission. Like if you're here to be a channeler of light language, all of a sudden you might start speaking it. Um, it's going to work with your intuitive knowing. It's going to help you with telepathy, multidimensional travel, remote viewing, energy healing, all kinds of things. But it's especially good for helping to enhance your meditation and your dream work. Um, and especially if you're interested in having vivid encounters with higher dimensional beings, galactic beings in particular, um, you might find yourself really making that connection where ET is phoning you. So that's really fun. But Moldavite can help you answer these questions. Where are you really from? What am I really here to do? And it's going to bring you the energy and the insights that you need to rock your mission. So that's why you just got to love Moldavite if you're brave enough to work with it. So those are my... Those are my uh, third eye choices for today. Well, um, if you want that connection with your uh, galactic neighbors and, and or beings, make sure you protect yourself beforehand. You don't want to let uh, non, uh, you know, um, you don't want to let malevolent beings in either. Thank you for Light. saying that. Yes. Yeah, I think with, it's a really good idea to set a strong intention and boundaries anytime you're doing any kind of meditation work about what kind of energies you're wanting to connect with. Make that very clear. I usually say something like, I only want to connect with beings that vibrate at 100% pure love. That's how I put it. I would say only those of the highest vibration of truth, love, and light are welcome. I like that even better. Yeah. Yeah. So we do have some questions. One is from yeah. Sally about Moldavite. Is that good for manifesting? Um, I would say yes, because um, first of all, it's going to clear anything that's blocking the manifestation. Second, secondly, it's it's got an amplifying effect and an accelerating effect. So I think that if you focused an intention on what you want to manifest with the stone, it would probably speed up the manifestation process for you. Okay. I was at a uh, Motley Crue. Uh, actually, it was a Vince Neil concert. He was singing all the Motley Crue songs. But uh, uh -huh. I'm, I'm right there in the front row. I'm like, yeah. And I had a Moldavite ring on it. It just flew off. And I think oh. if somebody in the band got it, they could probably use it. But uh, I got another question from Elaine. She's asking, why does Moldavite cause headaches? Ah, it could cause a headache because um, of the energetic intensity of the stone, it, it might be like, oh, bringing in so much energy that it's too stimulating to the mental body and it overloads your system a little bit. Um, so if you are experiencing any kind of aches or pains or discomfort in your head or anywhere in the body, it might be a sign that this, that you need to take a break with it for a little while or do what I said earlier, like do it in small doses and then you'll get used to the vibration and then you'll be able to hang with it for longer periods of time and you won't feel that way is, is what I, I would say. We have a comment in the Zoom chat from Desiree. She's saying that Charolite, Charolite is oh, her Char favorite stone to work with. So yeah. Oh, beautiful. I know. I, I think it's, um, it's one of those essential must-have stones, especially um, in these times.